Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So in today's video, we'll be seeing what is optics. That is ordering of points to identify the clustering structure. So it is a kind of clustering technique which is based on density based method. So before this, we saw what was DB scan. So it's on the same lines, we have the optics. So what is the difference uh, between DB scan and optics and why optics is uh, moreover preferred uh, than DB scan. So uh, let's start with the bifurcation from the name. So we have the ordering of points to identify the clustering structure. Uh, our main objective or aim is to identify the clustering structure and so it's based on ordering of points like how the uh, points or how the data points are ordered in a particular fashion or how they are laid out. Like in DB scan if we see uh, we have the density based parameters and those three values like we have the minimum point score object and the epsilon values which are laid on different data points in order to identify the cluster and the uh, noise and all. So in this what we have we have the ordering of points so some kind of cluster ordering or some kind of concepts are there so uh, that we use to identify the clustering structure and also the intrinsic feature or other informations which are there in the cluster so let's start what is uh, optics in data mining so uh, we have from the db scan uh, what the downfall of db scan is that uh, we have some parameters we have epsilon minimum points and uh, also the core distance and so it's mainly concentrated on uh, calculating or to segregating out the high density region so it's, it's like uh, if any small slight variation in the decimal point or any slight shift in the values just here or uh, in the left or right then it may cause in the distortion of that particular cluster or it may not uh, properly identify that particular kind of cluster so that was the very downfall of db scan and so it has to be very specific and very precise uh, in terms of points to identify it. so optics doesn't consider that thing so it's like in a fashion of points you need to have in optics so uh, we start with the basic two parameters that is we have the shape of the cluster so since it is a density based method it is used for uh, identifying the arbitrary shape clusters and also the input parameters that it would be requiring is the core distance and the reachability distance or main topic or main idea of optics would be on these two that is core distance and reachability distance we'll see what is it so uh, before that uh, we compute an augmented clustering order for automatic and interactive cluster analysis so it's like an added benefit or added feature uh, which we have in optics is cluster ordering so some kind of ordering might be there in the cluster to identify the data points or how it's laid out so uh, that's basically automatic or it can be other interactive from the user perspective it may be asking what points you have to enter and solve those kind of information so this ordering represents a density based clustering of the structure so like since it's like cluster ordering is there so we need to have the density based structure or so it's like it falls in that category of density based methods uh, then it contains information that is equivalent to density based clustering obtained from a whole range of parameter settings so it's like uh, you have those density based clustering ordering for different clusters and so it will be kind of uh, different kinds of intrinsic information the cluster shape the dimensionality and all those kind of things so the cluster ordering can be used to extract basic clustering informations as well as it can provide the intrinsic clustering structure so how the different points are laid out or what are the noise points or what are the water points and how it's distance basically so all these things gives you in optics and so you can see that it's an extension of db scan algorithm which we have previously learned and so if i am saying it's an extension of db scan some properties or some uh, parameters it has to extract from db scan and so from db scan we take the epsilon that is the minimum distance of the core point to reach the other points or the noise points and then you have the density reachability concept so these two concepts we'll just take to in order to drive or to design the optics clustering technique and so we'll move on to the limitation uh, last so limitation is nothing but it's the same for the quadratic time that we have so uh, we move on to the uh, core principle that is the core distance and the reachability distance so core distance of an object p like any random object any uh, like for example any a, a n number of data points might be there in that particular uh, set so you will take any number of uh, one particular random point so that if you assign as a core object so core distance of an object p is the smallest epsilon dash value which makes p as a core object and if p is not a core object then core distance of p is undefined it's simple as that and so uh, we'll take these two concentric circles so in this you have one inner circle and one outer circle so the radius of inner circle 
is uh, 3 millimeter and the radius of outer circle is 6 millimeter and so uh, this that is uh, this radius that is this distance is very small as compared to this one and so since p's are core points so core distance of p can be defined as epsilon dash which is nothing but 3 millimeter so whatever i have written is nothing but this thing so the smallest distance we consider as the core distance and when we move to reachability distance it is nothing but it's uh, you compare two different objects like from uh, one distance you have to reach to another uh, object uh, so like if you have q object and then you have to reach to p object you need to have some reachability distance or how time or how long it will take to reach to that particular point so it's uh, between two points uh, of an object q with respect to another object p it's a greater value of the core distance of p and the euclidean distance between p and q it's like you compare or you take two parameters that is core distance as well as the euclidean distance between p and q and you then compare which is the greater value from that and then you assign that value as the reachability distance between two points p and q and if so in that also if p is not a core object then core uh, is not defined and it's like uh, given an undefined value and so uh, you have this example like similarly you have two concentric circles like I've seen uh, in this and then you have the P as the core object and then you have two data points that is Q1 and Q2 and so this distance is very small so it's like you can consider as the radius that is 3 millimeter and the outside one that is Q2 as 6 millimeter so it's like the greater distance like uh, this is the core distance and this is the reachability distance and so uh, our outer radius or outer distance of the circle that is having uh, epsilon as 6 millimeter would be considered as the reachability distance for uh, this kind of optics so optics just revolves around these two concepts that is core distance and reachability distance that's it it's very easy and the limitation is like uh, similar for a db scan you have the quadratic time that is in the worst case uh, it has uh, big O of n square and the normal computational complexity of big O of n log n. So well that was all about regarding the optics technique in data mining. So hope you guys enjoyed this video from you got educated by watching this video. Please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.